There are so many great tools for creating digital art these days. For color flats, I highly recommend you check out Clip Studio. It has a number of different fill tools that speed up your workflow and improve your accuracy. Let's look at the color flat process with this illustration of Wonder Woman finding Queen May from the Boys series. Laying down all the colors with the Photoshop selection tool and fill can be a long process. Instead, using the same tool in Clip Studio for coloring line art saves a lot of time and produces very accurate results. One common issue using the paint bucket or fill tool is a faint gap along the inside edges. This problem occurs because the lines are feathered out by a process called anti-aliasing. Digital photography, art, and type often have edges feathered like this. It makes things look nice, but look at what happens when we try and fill an area using the selection tool and paint bucket in Photoshop. You can clean these artifacts up with a brush, and of course there are other workarounds. They just take a little more time. Clip Studio solves this common issue of gaps due to aliasing with the Area Scaling tool. It instinctively overlaps the line art by whatever amount you set. Let's look at the results. It happens all the time with digital art. You go to make a selection or a fill of a certain area and it is not connected somewhere. Then you spend the next 15 minutes looking for the pixel gaps in your drawing. Clip Studio has an intuitive closed gap tool. You can set it to fill different size gaps by selecting more blocks in the tool properties. Keep in mind that the higher closed gap setting you choose, you run the risk of not filling in narrow areas of your drawing. However, if you open up the Subtool dialog of the Fill tool, there is a setting to compensate for this. You can also fill in areas you missed with the Paint Unfilled Area brush. You might be asking why the brush is not painting outside the lines. Which brings me to my last and favorite Clip Studio fill setting of this video, which is the Refer Layer setting. Instead of going back and forth selecting and filling specific color fields, Clip Studio allows you to reference other visible layers in your file as fill guides. Let's look at how this works. With the Refer Other Layers setting selected, I can fill in areas of my drawing on a layer underneath my line art without having to make any selections. If you have multiple line art layers, you can isolate which one you want to use as a guide by selecting the little lighthouse icon on the Layers menu as well as the Fill Tool property box. These few tools have already sped up my flattening process. I imagine these features can do the same for you. You can try out Clip Studio for 30 days. And that's a wrap for today. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. If you don't like this video, thank you for hanging around so long. You can also enjoy the first chapter of Time Ejects by checking out the links below.